A new train timetable has been infuriating passengers across the City Rail network since it was introduced on March 31st. But on Thursday, some of Queensland Rail's most senior managers met with passengers at Fernie Grove Station to hear their complaints firsthand. Executive General Manager Passenger Services Andy Taylor said passengers had not been backward in coming forward. I think it's fair to say that uh, in a situation like this, everybody wants more public transport and we're, uh, we're certainly trying to deliver that. Probably the biggest issue is the parking at the station. They say it's uh, full by 7.15 and there's no point in having a good train service if you can't uh, get access to the station. The other thing is the uh, is a delay that they experience uh, at Kapira coming home in the afternoon. They, they wait uh, while a, another train goes through at Kapira. Working mum Beata Rosa said many parents now have difficulties picking up children from school on time and it was even beginning to affect workplace relations. With change of timetable comes um, problem with picking up the children. We all have to adjust to the new timetable and employers are not really very happy with that. It's, it's not good and I've been speaking to many people about that and all mums, all picking up mums, are just completely disrupted. We don't know whether we're coming or going and it's very, very difficult to do that. And the kids don't understand why we're late for pick-up, so it just started the ball rolling and not good. There have also been problems in the past with train services changing at the last minute. At Fernie Grove on Thursday morning, it took just 30 seconds for an announced service to suddenly be changed without explanation. It's unexpected train cancellations and changes like this one, forcing passengers to switch trains at another station, that have just added to frustrations. The issue with that train this morning was the train that normally comes out here actually had a difficulty on the south side and had to be cancelled. Yeah, um, so we actually got another train to come out here quickly you know, to take the people back into town and so there will be another train waiting at Central to connect with that train. The people will change there. It's difficult but you know, those operational things do happen from time to time but the thing is we got the train away on time. Commuters who want to speak personally with Queensland Rail Management can see them through April and May on the platforms at many suburban stations. For a full list of Meet the Manager sessions visit the City Train website. David Early, reporting for couriermail.com.au.